What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to set up quality checks for your manufacturing orders here in Odoo. Now, why does this matter? Adding checkpoints during production helps catch mistakes early and ensures your final product meets all quality expectations and passes final inspection. It's a simple setup that can make a big difference in quality control. Okay, first things first, we need to make sure we have the necessary apps installed. For this to work, we need the manufacturing app as well as the quality app. And we also want to make sure we have the shop floor module installed as well. And that's because we're going to use this interface later down the line. All of these are configured on my database, so that's one hurdle cleared. Now let's go ahead and create a quality control point. If you missed any of our previous videos on QCPs, quality checks, or quality alerts, be sure to check them out. I'll also link them in the description down below. But for now, let's go ahead and click on quality control, followed by control points, and click new in the top left corner. Like I said, we need to first create our quality control point or QCP. And this is where we tell the team what issues they need to look out for and when. I'm going to title this one joint tightness verification. And for the product, we're going to choose our wooden table. When we construct our tables, we need to make sure that all the joints are appropriately attached or we're going to have a lot of issues on our hands. For operations here, I'm going to use manufacturing and for the work order operation, I'm going to select our wooden table assembly. This is how we make sure this control point only occurs when we put the table together and not, let's say, shipping it to the customer. As for the rest of these options, I'm going to keep our type as pass fail and I'm going to also keep our control frequency to all products. Okay. Now for the instructions, I want to be specific because we don't want to make any mistakes here. I'm going to paste in our instructions here into the instructions tab. And this is what our team needs to look out for. For example, no visible gaps and proper alignment. Okay, now that they know what to look for, let's go ahead and finish this up. In the message if failure tab, I'm going to add our failure message. I want them to pull any failed products from stock. And now let's take a look at all of this in action, shall we? To do that, we're going to jump over to our manufacturing application, click operations at the top, followed by manufacturing orders. And then we're just going to click new at the top left. For the product to build, it's going to be our wooden table. And since we have a bill of materials for this, it automatically loads all of the components as well as the necessary steps. Now I just have to click confirm and we can start building. And now we're going to click on this shop floor smart button here at the top and finish this build. Once on the shop floor module, I have this manufacturing order ready to go. So here we can jump into assembly line one, and then click this play button here at the top. Now let's take a look at the manufacturing steps for this product. First, it looks like I need to add a serial number for this, so I'm just going to click this plus sign right here to assign one to it. Great. Now I'll just click validate, and we can move on to the next step. This is the step where I have to attach all the table legs, and thankfully I have some handy instructions here to guide us through just in case we get lost, because let's face it, who hasn't had issues following these kinds of instructions before, right? Once I have the legs attached, I could click next here. And it's time for my quality check. Just like I promised, all of these additional instructions pop up. And before I pass or fail this one, I'm going to look for any gaps. Nope. Let's look for some proper alignment. Looks good. And last, we need to test for secure fastening. Looks good. I say this passes to me, so I'm just going to click pass. And voila, all we have to do is close production. And just like that, we can get this ready to sell. And there you have it. That's it. You now know how to add a quality check to your manufacturing orders in Odoo. It's a great way to build quality right into your manufacturing flow. You can customize control points to fit your products and processes and also track all the results from one single place. Simple but powerful. Make sure to check out our other quality tutorials linked in the description. Till next time, I'll see you later, Odooers.